Hey y'all and welcome back. In today's video, we're making an old fashioned recipe. We're making berry biscuit muffins. These are good. They're good with butter on top. I like them that way anyway. But we're gonna be using blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. So y'all come on and let's make us some muffins. Okay, let's go over the ingredients for your muffins. You're gonna need one and a half cups of berries. We're using mixed berries. I have a little bit of all kinds of berries. And then to coat your berries in, you'll need about a half a cup of all-purpose flour. You're gonna need one stick of room temperature butter, one cup of sugar, one and a half cups of buttermilk, and we made our own. I can do a video on that and show y'all how to make homemade buttermilk if you don't want to buy buttermilk because a lot a lot of times we buy the buttermilk and we don't use it so I make my own whenever I have a recipe that calls for buttermilk you'll need two eggs room temperature a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon one teaspoon of vanilla and two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and then you're going to need a bowl to mix it in a muffin tin, and some cooking spray. But that right there is what it's gonna take to make our muffins today. So let's turn around here and mix all this together and make us some muffins. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna coat our berries with a little bit of flour. You just want to dust them with some flour and that'll help your berries not sink to the bottom of your muffin tin pan but these right here are frozen. It's better if you you know pick them and you use them fresh, but when you can't use them right away, I freeze them. So these are frozen berries. We have blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. So now let's just go ahead and we're gonna coat our berries. Get them all out. Of and then once you get your berries in the container with the flour, we're just gonna take the lid and place it on there and Give them a shake. Try to be gentle with them though because you don't want to break them up too bad. And then once you get them coated with the flour, like this right here is what you're looking for. You're just dusting them. And that'll keep them from sinking to the bottom of your muff muffin tin. But now we're gonna take these while we're mixing our batter up and I wanna keep them good and froze because if you don't keep them froze, the blueberries and the blackberries especially will dye your batter mix if you let them unthaw and the liquid starts coming out of them. So keep them good and cold until you get ready to put them in your mixture. So now I'm gonna place mine, now that I've got them dusted, back in the freezer. Okay, to start with, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients first. So we're gonna start by adding our flour and this is self-rising flour. It already has your baking powder and your salt in it, so you don't have to worry about mixing it. This is some of that flour that we made and turned all-purpose flour into self-rising. I'll link that video down below. But we'll add our flour first. And then we're gonna add our sugar to our flour. That's one cup of regular sugar. And then we're gonna add one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. The cinnamon just gives those muffins that extra little taste you're looking for. And now we'll just take this and we're gonna mix all our dry ingredients together. And get all that sugar incorporated with that cinnamon and flour. Okay, now we're going to mix our wet ingredients. Okay, we're going to use this bowl right here to mix all our ingredients in together. We're gonna mix our one stick of room temperature butter. I've melted it and then I've let it sit there and get to room temperature. We're gonna add our one teaspoon of vanilla. And 
And now we're going to add our one and a half cups of our buttermilk. And I'm going to take this little spoon and just give that a mix. Because I made this homemade buttermilk myself. Out of regular milk. Okay, now we're just going to pour it in the wet ingredients. And now you want to take your two eggs and you want to beat them before you put them in. So we're going to go ahead and get that one broke. Look how pretty these little eggs are. These are from my Easter egg or chickens. Boop. There we go. Now we're going to take a fork and we're going to mix our eggs up. You want to beat your eggs before you put them in your other ingredients. So just give them a mix. I've been wanting to make some muffins ever since these berries started coming, getting ripe. I told Travis the other day, I'm fixing to use your berries up to make some muffins. Now we'll just take our egg mixture and put in with the other wet ingredients. And then we'll give that a mix. And now we're gonna put the wet ingredients in our dry. Move all this out of my way so I can get y'all where you can see. Okay. And now we're just going to take this and we're going to pour our wet ingredients in the dry. I'm going to do it a little bit at a time because I want to fold it in that flour. Now this mixture right here is not a real thin mixture. It's a thicker type muffin mix. Okay, we'll put the rest of it in there now and we'll get it mixed. That vanilla and that butter is already smelling good and that cinnamon all mixed together and it's not even cooked yet. And these right here will even freeze good too. Like if you want to make them and store them and have them for breakfast or just a snack and you don't want them all at one time, these will freeze real good. Riley, I might have to freeze you one of these till I get to see you. Okay. We'll show y'all what that mixture looks like so you can get a good picture of it, of you. See how it's a thicker type mixture? Okay, now we're gonna fold in our berries. Okay, we're gonna start putting our berries in and you gotta be real gentle with them. And it's not gonna hurt if that little bit of some, a little bit of extra flour off of those berries get down in there because you're just gonna fold those berries into that flour mixture anyway. So where you coated those berries and that little excess flour that you're getting in your hand will not hurt your muffins. Let me make sure I get them all. How the flour coats the berries. And that'll help the berries stick to the other flour mixture and they won't just sink to the bottom. And now that we've got all our berries in our mixture, we're just gonna fold those berries in there and be as gentle as you can, but you do have to get them mixed in. And you can see, no longer than those raspberries came out. If you don't be real easy with them, you will have, your dough will be dyed red or blue. So just fold them in and try not to squish your berries. And 
And I'm going to add just a dash of salt. Okay. I pretty much got them folded in and they're starting to break down a little bit. So we got to get them in that muffin tin. And now just take your cooking spray and spray your muffin tin real good because you don't want them to stick after all this hard work. You want them to come out of those muffin tins. Easy. I'm gonna use this one. We're finishing up these two cans. Coat it real good. Okay, to get my muffins out and put them in the muffin tin, I'm gonna use this spoon. So I'm gonna spray it also. And it'll keep the batter from sticking to it. Okay, we're just gonna get us a, about the amount I think that we're gonna need for each muffin tin. And see how spraying that little spoon helps that batter just come right off. And now we're just gonna place our muffin mixture in our tins. And see how coating your berries keeps your berries from sinking? And in between, you may have to spray your spoon again if it starts sticking so too bad. This is not like cupcakes. This is truly muffins. So don't think they're gonna be like cupcakes. They've got a different texture than a cupcake. This is our last one. Okay, now that we've got all our muffin mix in our muffin tins, I'm gonna take it now and I'm gonna sprinkle each one with cinnamon and sugar on the top. Not much, we're just gonna barely dust the top of each muffin. And now we're gonna place them in the oven and we're gonna bake them on 350 for around 40 minutes. Or until we check them with a toothpick and it comes out clean just like you would check a cake. Okay, now let's check our muffins and see if they're done. Y'all look at that, how pretty those are. We'll let them cool and then we'll take them out. Let's check them to make sure, but they look done to me. Comes out clean. While they're cooling, let's see if they're gonna come up out of the muffin tin easy. Oh, y'all look how pretty that's coming out. Oh, they're so hot I can't touch them yet. But they're coming out, they're not stuck. While they're hot, I'm gonna show y'all how you can take you some butter. And take you some soft butter and just rub on top of them. 
And that right there is an old fashioned berry biscuit muffin. Just let that butter finish melting. And ooh, y'all, that's gonna be good. Cut it in half and let y'all see what it looks like. See how some of the berries are up top and in the middle and in the bottom. We have berries all through our old-fashioned muffin. All right, y'all. I got to give it a try. Dab a little bit of that extra butter on it. And they're still hot. Mm. Y'all, those berries are so sweet. Travis is going to love this. Look at that big old blackberry. So if you've got any blackberries, even wild blackberries, blueberries or raspberries, you should give this recipe a try. These old-fashioned muffins are delicious. Okay, y'all, if you like our video on old-timey berry biscuit muffins, give us a thumbs up, like, and share our videos. Thanks for watching.